Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Um, this is a kitchen island top, countertop that I'm building for my uh, house. So far, day one, I went to the lumber yard, uh, picked out some walnut wood, and then I uh, glued them together, clamped them together, and screwed them together, and uh, make sure they're very even as much as possible. That was day one. And day two, I just kind of sand down as much as I can to make it smooth, and then fill in like the... Um, the holes, all the imperfections with like um, wood fillers and then sand those down, let it rest for a day. And today's day three. I'm going to um, uh, square off the edges right here because they're, they're uneven because these woods are like separate. They're not one piece. And once I glue them together, the edges are, are not even. So I'm gonna square them off, make them real nice and smooth and uh, show you guys how to do it. Let's do this. All right. this uh, thing out the way. The edges are squared off and now you just gotta smooth it out, sand it and fill in the holes with the wood fillers. install this sink, this bar sink, and by doing so I'm going to use this template to draw out uh, a hole, I mean draw out something so I can cut out the hole, uh, measure it evenly on each side however you want it to hang off the island top, um, use a pencil, you don't want to use a marker because it will leave a stain, draw out this hole to cut out for the sink. And make sure you measure it like a million times because you don't want to mess up. Once you mess up, then you're going to be stuck with imperfections that are not cool. Okay, after doing that, I'm going to cut out this hole. After this whole thing's done, I'm going to add these, um, this faucet and this uh, water filter thing. So make two holes, plop it in right after everything's done. So let's get started. one through. to use this for another option is to do a cheese plate serving block or a butcher block. Just fill up the holes, round off the edges, and you're good to go. Okay, I'm going to round off the edges, make it smooth. Um, I don't have any tools to, the right tools to do it, so I'm going to grab this pole, grab some sandpaper, wrap it around this pole, bring it to the edge, and then just start sanding up and down. Get your arms working. Get my, uh, my cuts work out at the same time. It's great. <laughs> okay. So let's check and see if it fits. Yeah? All right. 
we go. Yep. It is beautiful. All right. Okay, I gotta keep sanding this until it gets smooth. Uh, prep it for the polyurethane. Um, so I'll update you guys, so check back later.